Hello boys and girls, it's Glenn Parker High Vibration Foundation. You're also watching Glenn TV and ah, I'm going to step out of the sun for a moment. Uh, I'm in the process, I've been like building out the garden and uh, I'm right now I am removing rock. So I started to remove this rock here and uh, I, I put down some more sod. I need to kind of even all that out. Roses really aren't blooming. They're not doing anything now. Um, I used all that rock to do the following. I like built this up, all this around here. Planted some little uh, flowers in there, you know, make them happy. Put a whole bunch of soil in there. I mixed some tree soil with some general topping soil. Has a lot of manure in it, so it's a little hotter, but you know, it's a tree soil, uh, kind of like a general topping soil. And I'm going to go and sit down for a second because it'd be windy today. Oh, there's this, uh, and I'm holding this because there's this strange thing that I have with push brooms. It's like when I went out to New York and checked on my mom one time and she wasn't doing good, I ended up, uh, I wasn't feeling good either. So I, I went out there and stayed and I ended up um, helping her in her work and doing a lot of the cleaning. Summer, winter, fall in New York, humidity and minus 10, whatever it was, summer, winter. And I ended up like cleaning out storage units and you know, people leave things behind and it gets windy and they're outside storage units so they get really dusty and um, they need a lot of tending to and I would use a push broom, huge one, to go and clean them out. And our garage gets, because it gets windy like this a lot, it gets a lot of debris in it. So I tried with a regular little tiny broom and it took me forever and I'm like this is just ridiculous. So I went and actually bought a damn push broom and I cleaned it out yesterday with the push broom and it was such an immense amount of satisfaction sweeping out the garage. I'm like, I don't know what it is. I guess cleaning is soothing for Glenn. Um, and gardening too. I've always liked gardening. So I'm going to take some of the soil that I showed you and I am going to strew it around the rocks around the tree because these, these, tr the root system for these trees are usually immense. And if you train them and give them water, they don't try to go after the pipes. So I'm going to strew out a little bit of soil, I'm going to take um, like the hose and I'm going to spray it down to get it down underneath to give the, the root systems a lot of nutrients. And I'm going to give each plant a little bit of a mix of soil um, and then spray it down into their root systems. And that helps fortify them since we're coming up on winter and then they'll be nice and strong for next year and they'll grow like really, really rapidly. So once they go into the dormant stage, they'll have all the nutrition they need to survive the winter, you know, what we call winter here. These are succulents, so they're used to the hot weather and they're pretty durable, so most of them, you know, tend really well. Um, I have an aloe, vera, an aloe vera plant that was a rescue from one of our friends that has finally survived and like, has just gone crazy now. Give that a little bit of soil, it's kind of spreading out. So that's the day today, really. Um, I've had uh, f fighting a cold and uh, somebody in their kindness had bought me this immune system builder, one of the strongest ones known to man. It's actually from Aloha Nutraceuticals. It is called 247. Uh, this is the critical care version. And what they do is they make a giant vat of traditional Chinese medicine mushrooms and then they distill it down in some way, vapor, shape or form that keeps all the immunogens intact and they put it into capsules. So you take two of those bad boys or whatever you need, and it's like, whoa, go speed racer, go speed racer. So my mom wasn't feeling good today. She also has this thing that's been going around, and I gave her two of them and checked on her like an hour later. I'm like, how are you doing? She's like, wow, I'm doing pretty good. So for someone who has a normal immune system, because mine's kind of wonky, um, it really perks her up. And then I gave her some of the glutathine that I've talked about before, which is like a colostrum kind of. Um, an unnatured whey protein which builds um, glutathione levels and also gives you some immunogens in there well, lactoferrin and some other things, so mother's milk basically. And now she's like all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. She doesn't want to come out in the garden, <laughs> but 
uh, she does feel much better. So she'll be over this in, an, in a jiffy where I find if when I feel better during a cycle of a cold, if I can get some exercise and doing stuff in the garden, like taking the shovel and moving these rocks around definitely is a lot of exercise. And it's, it's likened to like a rock climbing or something. It's not like a regular workout because you're doing so many different types of lateral movements that, you know, it's really hard to duplicate that, like that kind of type of organic movements and so much body movement needed to do like that type of physical labor is really hard to duplicate in the gym unless you're doing like a rock climbing type of idea or a warrior type of idea where you're uh, moving like one of those diesel tires that are taller than you and flipping it over and flipping it over and using a lot of different muscle groups. So that's today's video, at least so far, boys and girls. I do appreciate you joining me. There is a thousand there was 1,010, I just checked it, it was 1,009. Somebody disappeared, what happened boys and girls? Did you go into a different parallel universe? Um, so I thank all of you for having subscribed and watching and watching my escapades. Um, a trip to California coming up very soon, so you, of course you're gonna come along for the ride and I think I'm gonna drive out there, so we're gonna drive to California together. Yay, and you're gonna get to see all my favorite places, the sushi place and Hermosa Beach and Manhattan Beach and some of my favorite people. Yay! Um, some of the ideas that I've had are kind of culminating, coming together. Like uh, I had an idea at least to do videos to some of these people that have been of service and that have mm, like the naturopath um, and some other people that are of service to others and make detox kits and things like that. So. There's lots of ideas being tossed around. I have other ideas that um, uh, for sci-fi comedy short. <clears throat> While I'm in California, I'm going to meet some people and some actors and whatnot and see if we can't get that forward that idea a little bit more. So again, Glenn Parker, High Vibration Foundation. You're watching Glenn TV. Thank you very much for joining me. It is 109 subscribers. Yay! Coaching life, business, and spiritual. Also retreats, boys and girls. Don't forget retreats. Down below in the description, there are tons of things going on. Find the link that speaks to your, here, yeah, that's down here, to your heart and not to your head. And you'll find the information you wanted in this lifetime. Ow. And please do like, subscribe, and share. And of course, your comments are welcome, whatever you want to comment. And because I have a glove on, I have to turn this off with my nose. So forgive me, but you're going to get a close up. Yeah.